Today, I want to talk about generative UI. If you guys haven't heard of what generative UI is, it's basically this concept of where we can take a chat GPT like interface and we can go ahead and stick our own UI components into it. My friends and I have been talking about incorporating this into some of our applications for quite a while now. And until recently, it's kind of just been an idea until very recently, Vercel released their new AI SDK, and this is a really, really dope SDK. I made a video about it a couple weeks ago. I didn't get too much traction. I really haven't seen too many people talking about this, which I think is a shame, because to me, I think this has huge potential to completely change how we work with a lot of these apps. And I think the future, in the future, a lot of interfaces will be built this way. And so without further ado, let me show you what I'm actually talking about. So this is the beginnings of a little sample application I'm building. It's not fully done yet, but I wanted to put something out here before I've completely finished it because honestly, I'm just really excited about this and I wanted to make something about it. But this is a little application where it's gonna be a personal assistant for tracking your weights. I'm a huge weightlifter guy. I'm in the gym every day. I love doing it. So I was thinking, you know, it'd be really cool if I could go through and instead of using a traditional like spreadsheet or something like that, I could go through and interact with my weight tracker via text. So if I go in here and I just send a message, it looks like GPT and it's using GPT under the hood. If I say, what can you do? I'll ask the AI what it can do. And it'll go with say, Ed and it'll say it's a personal weights tracker. It can do a bunch of stuff. I haven't, like I said, I haven't done much formatting on this. It's still a very much a work in progress. But the really interesting thing you're gonna see in here is gonna say it can start a new workout for me, it can record sets during the workout, and it can view past workouts. And if I go ahead and change my question to what functions do you have access to? When I ask it what functions it has access to, it's gonna give me, it's gonna show me two different functions here. It's gonna show me the ability to view all workouts and to create a new workout. So when I say, uh, let me create a new workout, it's gonna go ahead and instead of just giving me some text, it's actually gonna give me some real UI. And this is real UI that I created myself. I went through, I made this UI, I gave it to the LLM. The LLM in the SDK actually has a list of functions that it can call to actually serve UI out to the user. It has access to view all workouts and create new workout. By the time this is done, it's gonna have access to like 10 different functions to make this a functional application. But basically you can just use the AI to converse back and forth with what you wanna do and it can pull up the pieces of UI and pull up the little components that you need to actually interact with your application. Because obviously the problem with the AIs in the past is A, they don't know what the heck is actually going on in the current day because it's just trained on data. So you ask GPT, what time is it? And can't tell you, but if you gave it a function that would get the current time, then it could tell you what that was. And the same thing is happening here where before it'd be really hard to get it to do something with your database, get it to give you something in the right format, get it to spit out JSON. I've heard tons of horror stories on Twitter where people would go through and try and get it to try and wrangle it to get input in a certain way so they could send it to their database and all this stuff is kind of a pain. But now what we can do is we can just provide it a list of components, give it some context in plain English, which is such a mind fuck. It is such a different way of thinking about your programming and thinking about your applications to give it to like work with this magic LLM. Cause really to me, like I'm not an AI engineer. I'm not, I don't know the linear algebra behind it. I vaguely understand how it works. My friends have explained it to me. I get it in concept, but I'm never going to be implementing GPT myself. To me, it's just a magic post request and figuring out how to work with and talk to this post request is really weird and it's really different. I used to love laughing at the guys who would call themselves prompt engineers and I still kind of do. I think it's a really goofy title, but still, you know, there is something to be said for it. And there is, I think there's kind of an art to this of getting the AI to work and act the way you want it to. So you can see here in this example, I have the ability to create a workout. This is actually hooked up to my database. So if I just said my new workout and I said my location is my house. We'll say it's gonna be not in progress and we're gonna set the date to be the 30th. So now that we put this stuff in, when I hit create, this will go ahead and actually create a new workout in our database. So if I go ahead and say, show me my workouts, it'll run this and then it should spit out here a full list of all my workouts, which again, this is a component I created. This component has all the logic built into it to talk to our database to get all that stuff working. We can go ahead right here and just see, okay, so the two workouts which I created, I pressed the button twice, that's my bad. Again, this is such a work in progress application that like it's not real yet, but it will be eventually. And I do wanna kind of turn this into a thing where like you can kind of, I wanna prove this out. I wanna see 
and really test the thesis of, is this really a compelling way to work with applications and use this as a UI interface? Because obviously GPT is super successful and everyone likes it, but what would it be like to put this into a more specific application to make a weights tracker out of this to in insider viz, make a way to interact with the data set on this. I can imagine a future here where with this workout assistant, imagine if you are able to just say, Hey, give me a summary of my last 30 days of workouts and we can give it a bunch of components to pass some data into. So maybe like a graph component where it can pass in some data. We give it access to all of your workout data and it can go through and do LLM things. It can pick out some trends. It can pick out some outliers. It can do a bunch of different stuff. And I think there is just immense potential here. You're going to hear me say this in a lot of videos over the next couple of weeks, but I think in this whole AI world, there is so much potential and all I'm really seeing, at least personally, I might have missed it, but I'm seeing a ton of stuff where it's like, it's either like people selling tools to help you make AI stuff or just GPT based wrappers. There's not a huge amount of like real applications that normal people use being enhanced with AI. Obviously, there's the like traditional use cases like the YouTube algorithm, the TikTok algorithm, um, stuff like cheating on homework with GPT. You know, all these things are obviously good use cases, but you know, what about workout apps? How can we put AI in here in a way that's not just a goofy marketing gimmick, but actually goes ahead and enhances the application in a meaningful way? And that's what I want to figure out. And that's what we're, what we're going to be talking about over the next couple of weeks. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to have a video. The next video I put out is going to be talking about the technical stuff behind this. Spoiler alert, this is a Next.js application. I have very good reason for doing that. We're not abandoning Svelkit. Get your comments out of the way. We're not doing that. I'm not changing my stack or whatever. But I do think that for these AI applications, uh, Next.js makes a ton more sense, especially the RSC model, because uh, these are all RSCs. And I'll have a lot to talk about with this little bar here, but this is really fucking cool. So if you enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.